Where's the chair? Take off. You can feel under pressure. Uh -oh. Make, make sure both of them. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they both flip up. First Sunday, I actually came to the church and met members. Uh, it was like I was a guest, but the next Sunday I was part of a family. We loved it the first day that we got here. We felt like it was it was home. We knew it was home. We get excited to come to church and see our friends, and we you know uh, look forward to each lesson that the pastor has for us. The services here, the pastor so dynamic and and applicable. I mean, each week it's another great service. You know, we were saved, we were looking for a church, but we did not have, um, you know, a lot of Christian friends. And we were praying for even just one family that was maybe about our age, maybe had kids that were close to our age, and just one family. And so it was, as soon as I walked in, it was, I felt like I was at home. Uh, we were moved out here through work. Uh, had no plans to come out here on our own, but it, uh, a work decision that moved us out here. And as I said, it, you know, church is our second home. My wife was safe, I was not. And um, I saved two flyers for her, not for me. And um, when she came, she visited this church first. Um, and she was coming for like three months and keep inviting me. And, uh, I don't feel like it today. She keep inviting me until one Sunday, I think it was in November or December, I decided to come. Having had such a great experience at a mega church, I thought that was what I maybe wanted. And then we came here and realized that uh, there was something really special about such a close-knit group of believers. It's neat the way the Lord works because after finding Castleview, it's like God said, you prayed for one, how about 20? Coming back with my wife, and bringing the kids, um, I, I got saved in May of 2009. Pastor was probably one of the first people to say hello to us our first Sunday here. He knew we were new. He knew that we um, hadn't come into the church before. Even all of the members, I so many know, people greeted us the yeah. first two weeks. I felt like I was running for mayor. Yeah, and if they, yeah, if they didn't greet us that first Sunday, they did the next Sunday. We were not Sunday school goers in the beginning. We would come at main service, and then once we kind of transitioned into the life groups, we started becoming a part of that, and that's been one of the biggest things that's helped us in our life. Uh, we have a 13-year-old daughter who's in the teen group, and you know, one of the things that we noticed when she came, even the teens, which can be sometimes um, a difficult age in life, they're just loving. They they welcomed her. They they hugged on her. They loved on her. They just they just showed Christ's love to her. Um, the ladies here are amazing and friendly and loving and you know if you needed something they'd be there for you. Um, I mean I'm, I'm involved in, in this church like I've never been involved in church before. My family has become a lot stronger. Uh, I've seen uh, two of my children saved uh, under the ministry at Castleview. I've seen uh, one of my children baptized. Uh, and my wife and I have grown stronger through the ministry here at Castleview. Uh, I love this church and I love the community that we're in. We just love it as a family. Um, there is nowhere else for us. You know, we're a family. I love my church because we're a family. Yeah. You know, love, the word love has a lot of... The one thing that amazes me about Castleview is, you know, you talk about love, but it's actually acted out here. And that's what I love about Castleview. You know, we, I love this church because this church first loved me. When I walked through those doors, um, you could feel just the love of the people. And, and, and that comes from, that has is, that is grown from a teaching of the truth and an understanding of the word. And um, there's just no other way to explain it.